Well, Drake's a really good basketball team, so we're, you know, throwing are some correctables from that fourth quarter, but, you know, to their credit, they kept fighting and, and uh, you know, put us in a position where we had then had to come back and make some plays, and so that's good for us going forward. I thought for, I thought we were well prepared. Um, you're always a little nervous coming out of finals week. Um, what's your what your focus is and your energy level because you just think there's different levels of sleep and I know these guys are good students um, more than a couple on our team so um, so you know you just worry about that but I thought I thought for three quarters you know we we were really solid and our preparation showed and and uh, you know we just made a lot of it was Drake in the fourth quarter but we we'll, we'll have to tighten some things up so I mean but but again those are those are good learning lessons, and when you win, those are better than when you lose. So we had one of those um, uh, on Sunday where we had some lessons in a loss. So at the end of the year, this will be a really good win. Drake's a, Drake's a heck of a basketball team. And, um, you know, it was great to have Rachel back, obviously. I thought she was, you know, just does a good job of making the, the plays that, you know, her experience allows her to make and, and just her fight and grit and, um, you know, in our post game, you know, Morgan and uh, Emma were were really a big a big piece of our offense tonight. It was um, important that those two played well because we didn't get quite as much production out of our our perimeter game uh, other than Rachel um, in terms of points that we, as we normally do. So, good team win, uh, and uh, you know it'll make for a, a fun week to get ready for another good team. Uh, we realized that we weren't we weren't great in our spacing against their zone. Uh, we weren't taking advantage of the open gaps in the middle as well as the baseline. And I think once we were able to kind of work into out in terms of our interior passing and our shot preparation on the outside, a lot came uh, easier in terms of getting good looks out of that zone. They have they have a really great zone, and even their man is really great as well. So. It helps being a motion team and being able to run similar things against both uh, types of defense. And we kind of had to slow down and remember who we were in terms of our offense and, and just try to execute out of that. It hasn't been easy. A lot of, a lot of conditioning, a lot of rest. Um, but you know, just another bump in the road, and I've had some before, so um, I'm used to it. I was actually happy when they told me it was a week's timeline instead of a month, so um, it was great to be back out here tonight, and my teammates really helped me throughout my process of rehabbing. Uh, never made me feel like I was kind of isolated from the group and always kept me involved in, in every practice and in every drill, so I'm really thankful for them, and I think that they're a big part of that, as well as our training staff, uh, Petra Knight and Brad Schmidt. They really got me ready. Um, in terms of strength and conditioning, and and they put me out there fully confident in in my body's healing. I try. <laughs> yeah, um, I think <laughs> in those big games last week when we had tight moments, um, Rachel's always that steady voice. She's been there before, um, so we just kind of lean on lean on her and. It's good to have her back on this side, though. Grayson, you played really physical defense and then the early in that fourth quarter, you are getting into some serious foul trouble. How do you have to sustain that? Um, you know, I think our team has, has gotten better in terms of our defense in finding that fine line between aggressive and overly aggressive. Um, we knew we had to be aggressive because they have incredible shot makers, so we couldn't give them open space. We couldn't give them open driving lanes. Um, but there are some things we have to tighten up in terms of guarding the dribble, guarding screens. Um, that's a great thing about a game like this is that we see things that we can improve on and be better for for Arkansas and games going forward. Um, so, so we've we've found that fine line, uh, but we're still working on, you know, playing complete team defense in that aggressive style. Um, 
Yeah, I just kind of let the game come to me. Um, I wanted to play, put together the full four quarters as best as I could. I feel like I haven't done that personally um, recently. Um, but the ball was moving and um, did everything I could. I, I didn't have the greatest performance defensively, um, but. She's a unit. Okay. Definitely. Um, she, she's hard on herself in terms of her defense, and I respect the heck out of that. But the way that she's able to affect the ball on both sides of the floor is, is something that very few players can do. Um, her physicality in the post, even though they had some looks in the post, it still made them you know, uh, do multiple moves or catch it off balance or shoot it off balance. So uh, she affected the game in a lot of ways. And then just her consistency on offense uh, knowing when it goes in the post that, you know, the rest of us are going to fight for that rebound, but it's probably not coming <laughs> out of the basket. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I'm really proud of her. Um, she, she's she been a steady force for this team on both ends of the floor. So. When you were put together offense, did you all really put any slower bounds or communication in the early on? I think um, – Wolf Land was in our ear to use the clock to our advantage um, when they started to make that run. And um, luckily, we've been in that situation in some games so far this year. So um, just try to string together enough good possessions to maintain that lead and handle their momentum. Yeah, I think um, going in, we knew that their posts didn't have great feet or like get, couldn't get through our screens um, offensively. And, you know, the guards do a good job of um, noticing that and just taking advantage of what we can get. Um, I, I like to set those screens for Morgan, you know, uh, like she was saying with the big, the, the posts coming out. Um, very few people can guard completely with what we're doing in terms of setting screens. So we're able to get a lot of fouls that way. And um, just being able to move the ball and find the open person. We have so many great scorers on this team that I've kind of just found a lot of um, comfort and consistency and trying to move the ball and get it to those people and not be co so concerned about, you know, getting shots up myself. And it's proved to be really good for this team, so. Thank you. Thank you. Good job, you Thanks. Guys.